Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello my one. It's me Madam Lina. So today is science time. So are you ready with your books and your pencil case? Okay, let's start. Okay kids, please open your textbook page 6 and 7. Did you find it? Okay, now let's take a look at the page 6, right? What is manipulative skills? Manipulative skills is a psychomotor skills used during science investigation. Kalau dalam bahasa Melayu, kemahiran manipulatif ialah kemahiran psychomotor semasa menjalankan penyiasatan sains. Selalunya, uh, skill manipulative or manipulative skills ni adalah yang kita buat semasa kita buat penyiasatan sains. Contohnya, semasa kita observe limau, semasa kita observe ice cream, apakah yang perlu anda buat semasa membuat observation? This is what we call as penyiasatan sains or science investigation. So, what do we have to do during the science investigation? So, let's take a look at the next slide. So, the first manipulative skills that you must know is using apparatus and science materials. Maksudnya, menggunakan alatan dan bahan sains. Jadi, setiap kali kita membuat penyiasatan sains, kita perlukan alatan yang sesuai untuk membuat penyiasatan. Jadi, semasa kita menggunakan peralatan ini, kita mesti berhati-hati dan memilih peralatan yang sesuai. So, when we use uh, the apparatus and science materials, you have to choose which science apparatus and materials that is suitable for the investigation. The second manipulative skills is handling the specimen. Okay? Maksudnya dalam bahasa Melayu ialah mengendalikan spesimen. Apa maksud spesimen? Spesimen ialah bahan atau objek yang awak hendak siasat. Okay? Jadi, semasa kita membuat penyiasatan, kita mesti berhati-hati semasa kita mengendalikan spesimen. Especially when you handle the living things. We have to be very careful so that we don't kill them, so that we don't hurt them or ruin them in any uh, circumstances, okay? So, uh, the second manipulative skills is handling specimen. The third manipulative skills is sketching, okay? Uh, dalam bahasa Melayu, ialah membuat lakaran. So, apabila kita membuat penyiasatan, kita digalakkan untuk membuat lakaran mengenai spesimen yang kita siasat. Okay? So, seperti yang awak nampak di dalam gambar, uh, murid ini tengah membuat lakaran uh, sekeping daun, sehelai daun. Okay? Jadi, dia buat lakaran lah. Tetapi, anak-anak murid mesti faham. Lakaran bukan mewarna. Lakaran hanya melukis menggunakan pencil. Sketching, just use pencil. Do not color it. Okay? So, every time you do the investigation, during the signs, um, you have to sketch the specimen that you investigate. Okay? The fourth manipulative skills is cleaning the apparatus. Dalam bahasa Melayu, maksudnya membersihkan alatan. So, every time after uh, you do the science investigation, you have to clean the apparatus by throwing away the rubbish in the dustbin or um, wash uh, the petri dish or any apparatus that you use during the science investigation. Okay, so awak kena uh, membersihkan semula peralatan yang awak guna semasa penyiasatan sains. The fifth manipulative skills, manipulative skills yang kelima is storing the apparatus. So after you wash the apparatus, after you clean the apparatus, you have to store the apparatus to its original place. 
so that it won't be lying around in the science room. Okay, selepas awak membersihkan peralatan, awak perlu simpan di tempat asalnya supaya di dalam makmal sains, uh, peralatan sains ini tidak bersepah dan boleh menyebabkan kecederaan atau boleh menyebabkan peralatan sains itu rosak. Jadi, selepas kita membuat semua penyesatan sains, kita perlu simpan balik peralatan sains itu di tempat asalnya. So, every time after the science investigation, you have to store the apparatus to its original place so that the science room would be safe and clean. Okay? So, let's watch a video. Now, now, what is manipulative skills? Apakah kemahiran manipulatif? Manipulative skill is a psychomotor skill used during science investigation. Okay, kemahiran manipulatif adalah kemahiran psychomotor pergerakan apabila awak melakukan uh, penyiasatan sains. Okay, experiment ke uji kaji sains ke okay normally you are going to use manipulative skills in science uh, room okay dalam bilik sains okay or in the class kemahiran manipulative okay manipulative skills you must remember okay the first manipulative skill is using apparatus and science materials okay Kemahiran yang pertama adalah menggunakan apparatus, menggunakan peralatan and science materials dan bahan science. For example, look at the picture. You can see the boy is using the magnifying glass. Kata pembesar, to observe a specimen. Okay, dia melihat spesimen itu, memerhatikan spesimen which is a leaf using the magnifying glass. So, there are... Um, a lot of science apparatus uh, like you can see in the picture okay beaker um, tube cylinder a weighing scale okay there are a lot of uh, apparatus that you have to use it correctly and carefully dengan betul dan berhati-hati okay next the second manipulative skill is handling specimen Okay, bagaimana awak mengendalikan spesimen like a leaf um, flower okay for animals like ants snail how you handle the specimens okay if you collect the specimens like snail okay after you use after you have done your experiment okay how do you handle the snail okay Bagaimana awak nak mengendalikan senyal, uh, siput itu selepas awak buat uji kaji? Adakah awak buang tong sampah? No. Okay, you must um, put it back atau letak balik dekat dia punya tempat mana awak ambil tadi. Kalau dekat taman, letak balik dekat taman. Okay, next, sketching. Melakar. Okay, how you uh, sketch a specimen. Bagaimana awak melakar specimen macam dalam gambar itu? Uh, melakar daun okay. How you sketch a beaker Bagaimana awak melakar beaker How you sketch a, me a measuring cylinder okay. Cylinder penyukat Macam mana awak melakar Okay next Cleaning apparatus Cleaning apparatus adalah Membersihkan peralatan After you have um, Use all the apparatus You must clean Awak mesti bersihkan, okay, with water and with soap, okay, dengan air dan sabun, okay. Yang rubbish, awak perlu throw into dustbin, okay. Yang pepejal lah, yang solid waste, throw into dustbin, and then yang liquid waste, yang cecair, okay. Sisa sisa cecair, you throw into sink, okay. Awak perlu buang ke dalam sinki yang cecair, yang pepejal buang dalam tong sampah. Okay, last is storing apparatus. Menyimpan peralatan. Okay, after you have used all, like the magnet, um, the magnifying glass. Okay, you must store. Awak mesti simpan balik. Okay, tempat awak ambil tadi, awak mesti simpan balik. You have, you must store it uh, at its original.
place tempat asal awak ambil tu awak mesti simpan and then you must arrange mesti Dan susun ah, okay. nak tutorial, kalau awak tak susun nak. memang akan berterabur dan memang bersepah nanti pilih sains peralatan itu akan um, rosak lah ok kids um, open your science activity book page 7 page 7 so today we're going to use it to do page 7 8 9 and 10 so let's start with page 7 uh, okay so this is page 7 have you found page 7 so I want you to do this uh, uh, exercise where you have to observe the pictures below and write right or wrong in the boxes so let's take a look at a i will give you some examples and then the rest you have to do it yourself okay so this one for a um the first picture is the kids are using the magnifying glass uh, to look at the leaf and the second picture the kids are using the same magnifying glass to look at the leaf so which one is right and which one is wrong Okay, for A, which um, uh, the right way to use the magnifying glass? Okay, so when we use magnifying glass, you have to put the lens close to your eye. So this is right. So you have to write right. And this is the wrong way to use the magnifying glass. So you have to write wrong. Okay? Right, for B, how do we handle the specimen? Do we use the uh, do we use the forceps or we use hand to handle the specimen? So this one you have to figure it out yourself. For C, look at the jar. There is a grasshopper in the jar. Now let's take a look at the jar itself. How do we handle the um uh grasshopper so that the grasshopper won't be hurt in any way so if you look at the picture carefully you can see which jar is correct and which jar is wrong so i want you to do it yourself and please um don't forget to send me your work now let's take a look at page eight please open to page eight Take the correct way of handling specimens and cleaning the science apparatus. As you can see in the picture, there are three questions that you have to answer. So you have to only tick the correct way of handling specimens. So I will do uh, the first question for you. Now for A, the first thing, the first picture, it shows that... Uh, it shows the uh, the boy is cleaning the apparatus. And the second picture, the apparatus is being left in the sink uh, without uh, people cleaning it. So which one is the correct way of handling the specimens and cleaning the science apparatus? Okay, so I think you've got the answer already. So A should be this one. Right. For B, look at the how... Uh, the person handle the specimen do we just pluck the leaf from the tree or we use the appropriate tools to cut the tree or to cut the plants okay so you have to do it yourself for C how do they handle the fish do they use the net to catch the fish or they use the hand to catch the fish so kids you have to take the correct picture Okay, so now let's move to the next exercise. Okay, so let's take a look at page 9. So this exercise requires you to sketch the sign separators and specimens. So as you can see in the, pic in the exercise, there are four pictures that you have to sketch. So my picture is not very clear, but you have your book in your hand so that we can do this together. So I would do the first question for you and you have to do the rest. Uh, of the questions so let's take a look at a so I have to sketch the petri dish so when I sketch 
so when I sketch, I just use a pencil to sketch. Do not use any color pencil. So when you sketch, you just sketch how does the petri dish look like. Looks like, okay. So you have the petri dish already. Okay, so you have um, sketched the petri dish. I'm sorry but with my ugly drawings, but I think you can do better than me. So B, you have to sketch the snail. C, you have to sketch the beaker with water in it. And C, you have to sketch the leaf. So good luck, kids. So can you turn to page 10? So this is the last exercise for today. It's the ways of storing the sign separators. And you have to take the correct way of storing and cross the wrong way of storing. Okay, when you take a look at the picture, um, first you have to take a look closely at the picture so that you can see whether it's correct way or wrong way of storing. So let's take a look at the first questions. Now look at in the drawer, the magnifying glass are being um, arranged in a very neat order. And the second one, the magnifying glass are put in a, um, in a not correct way of putting the magnifying glass. So you, you know which one is the correct way and which one is the wrong way. So if it's correct, so you have to take uh, the picture and if it's not correct you have to cross in the boxes given and for the rest of the picture you have to do it yourself okay so please please don't forget to send all your homework to me and please do your homework at home tolong buat kerja rumah tolong belajar sebab ini sahaja masa untuk kita belajar okay kids right okay as a reminder Please send your work to me through the telegram. Tolong hantar kerja rumah awak melalui telegram yang saya akan bagi nanti. Jadi please, tolong buat kerja rumah awak. Please belajar. Sebab walaupun PDPR, kita mesti tidak berhenti belajar. Okay kids? Right? So before we end our lesson today, so this is a quote. Words full of wisdom that someone important said and can make the reader get inspired. Okay, so um, uh, bagi saya lah murid-murid, uh, walaupun awak baru tahun satu, uh, apa yang awak belajar sekarang ialah sangat penting untuk tahun-tahun uh, yang mendatang. Jadi, walaupun awak tidak dapat mengikuti sepenuhnya dan tidak dapat bersemuka dengan Madam Lina, tetapi jangan lupa untuk buat kerja awak, jangan lupa untuk belajar dan jangan... Uh, uh, habiskan masa awak uh, bermain game atau apa saja. Madam terpaksa beritahu ni secara terus terang. Okay? Uh, beri masa untuk awak belajar juga. Agihkan masa awak untuk main juga. Jadi, uh, jangan lupalah kalau cikgu-cikgu ada hantar homework. Tolong buat. Okay? So, itu sahaja pesanan daripada Madam. Jumpa lagi. Okay, bye.